Hey there, YouTubers. It's Don from True Cable. How are you doing today? Well, coming back at you again with yet another video, this time talking about yet another tool. And who doesn't love tools? I personally love tools, so the more tools I can get, the happier I am, especially ones that are really useful. And um, even if they're a single-use tool, uh, if it does the job real well, and most single-use tools do, uh, then I'm really happy with it. So I'm very happy to introduce uh, this dedicated tool for the task. This is designed to ex uh, decrimp the ground collar around uh, a external ground crimp style RJ45 plug. Basically our shielded Cat6, Cat6A uh, external ground plug has a collar on it which has to be crimped around the cable jacket. And it may be the only attachment mechanism that's hold. Well, it is the only attachment mechanism that's holding the plug onto the cable, other than the the, the actual termination to the golden contacts. So the crimping of that external ground is critical. And uh, in order to get a really good external ground crimp, you need to have a tool designed to do just that. And up until now, uh, you know, we've had this external ground crimp cavity on our all-in-one uh, termination tool. And it does a good job. Um, it's just that uh, the way it works is that it is coming down like that at an angle. And so it requires a little more practice to get good with. And it doesn't give you as much control. But it's good if you're only doing a few plugs. However, what if you need to do quite a few plugs? Or if you're looking for the maximum in control or you just can't quite get the hang of using this cavity back here? Well... Uh, that's why we brought this into the picture. So, um, just a quick walk around here. It's got some nice pebble, thick, uh, pebble textured um, green high visibility handles. It's got a parkerized uh, black oxide uh, type um, finish here on the tool head to keep it rust free. And it's got a mechanism which keeps it closed while it's in your tool bag. Uh, it has two cavities. One is for the really large external ground shielded RJ45s. And then if you have a smaller external ground uh, shielded RJ45, which we actually don't carry, you can use this crimp cavity. Uh, oftentimes, though, um, you only need to use this cavity, the big one, for our plugs. Uh, occasionally, with uh, maybe a slightly thinner cable or you want to get a slightly better, better crimp on the plug or the external ground collar, um, then you want to switch over and use the small cavity. But more often than not, it's just simply this first one here. So I say we go ahead and demonstrate how that works, and I'll show you uh, the great result you get. So stay tuned. Here we go. Okay, so uh, for the curious among you, yes, I did remove the cable shield. Uh, this is our Category 6 uh, shielded direct burial cable. It has waterproof tape in it. It has a cable shield, a spline, and a really thick outdoor jacket. It happens to be the brown variation. And yeah, it, I mean, this is probably our monster cable. It's the thickest, so I thought it'd be a great demonstration. Uh, I often, oftentimes these days, I'm going to remove the cable shield off here, take the drain wire, fold it backwards, wrap it around, and then tack it down with our copper fabric conductive strips. Um, not really relevant necessarily to this discussion, but just to let you know, just in case you spotted what I did here, I, I, I almost always use these things these days because it makes life easier, but I digress. All right, so you came here to see how an external ground crimp is done right. So uh, the plug's already been crimped on, the golden contacts were already down, and this ground collar is literally the only thing that's going to be holding this plug uh, onto the cable. So it has to be done right. It has to be perfectly done at the right pressure, not over crimped, not under crimped. You over crimp it and you could damage the internals of the cable. You under crimp it, it's going to allow your, uh, your termination to shift to the point to where you could get low speed or even a no connection. It's just the nature of the game with RJ45s. So uh, we'll hinge up this ground tab here and we're going to make it as in line with the plug as we can back sort of, you know, straighten it out so that we can get a good crimp on it. And then we'll fold down these two metal wings. Now I'm using my fingers right now, but typically I'll use like a flat blade screwdriver to do that. So I got the crimp started there, so it's ready to go into the tool. And then you open up the tool, and you'll notice that there's a uh, semicircular cavity here and a larger uh, 
uh, not circular <laughs> cavity. Uh, I, I, oval, I guess, maybe would be the right word for it. But it, 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 does, it does mean that the plug uh, collar goes on only one way. And it's going to be, so the semicircular side on the, on the, uh, the top, technically, of the plug where the latch is, uh, that here goes into the semicircular cavity there. So what you do is you put your semicircular part down first and then move the plug so that you've got about, oh, a sixteenth of an inch or so between the end of the tool and the start of the actual rear housing of the plug. And then put it in there carefully to make sure it's all lined up properly and then squeeze down one time hard until it closes all the way. And then take your plug out and look at your handiwork. And what do you know? We have a perfectly crimped external ground. I don't even need to go over this again. Now, if it had not crimped perfectly for me, I'll probably switch to the smaller front cavity here and then just give it a little extra squeeze. Now, remember, don't over, over squeeze it. Just a, a little extra squeeze if you need to. And you can work on it. You know, it doesn't have to be in one smooth motion. But if you want to get a little extra squeeze, you can use the front. But generally, all you need is just one good firm squeeze with the rear one. And there you go. That, that uh, ground collar is crimped down there nicely. The way you can tell is it's slightly indenting the cable jacket back here. And it's fully curved around the cable. Uh, it's not digging in and damaging your cable or anything like that. So uh, it's not going to let your uh, plug shift around on you. So that's how you do it. So I do recommend that you pick up uh, a pair of these, especially if you're doing a lot of these uh, shielded external ground plugs. They'll make your life a lot simpler. You're going to get extremely accurate, properly crimped uh, ground collars every single time. So there you go. I hope you found this useful and please subscribe to our channel. Uh, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see fit and uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, if you've got some tips or tricks that you do, um, please share. You know, uh, just because uh, I've been doing this a long time doesn't mean that I can't learn something new. In fact, I learned something new uh, just today. So I'll be showing that particular video. Uh, it'll probably be the next video up. And that's going to be about uh, how to flush cut your conductors. It should it be straight across or should it be on an angle? Well, I discovered, I think, that uh, someone suggested a better way. So we're going to show you that too, but not in this video. You have a great day and happy networking.